Today's video is the shortcuts to know to become a TX16S Pro. So let's get started. First is the model button. You can short press model to go to model setup or long press and that takes you to manage model screen. On the left side, we have the system button. Short press takes you to the tools where you have your Lua scripts or you can long press system and go to radio setup, which is the gear tab. Next is the telemetry button on the bottom left. You can short press to give you your widget screen, or you can long press and go to the channel monitor. Now, while we're talking about the channel monitor, it can also be accessed by another shortcut which is when you're in the model screen. You can be in any model tab and push the model button again, and that will allow you to go to the channel monitor as well. Next is the Edge TX logo at the top left of the screen. You can push the logo and you will get eight different menus you can access. You can also access those by pushing in the scroll wheel. You notice the same menu pops up. Next is using the buttons on the outside to adjust a value. We're going to go to model, go to our input tab. We're going to go to the aileron weight, push edit, go to the weight. If you use the system button, it will lower the value by 10%. The model button increases the value by 10%. When you use the page buttons, that will decrease and increase by 1%. So let's say we want to go to 65%. We can push system three times, lower it by 10% each time. And then we can push the lower page button to lower 1% at a time to 65. As I mentioned, you can use model to increase it by 10% and the top page button to increase it by 1%. So we're going to increase it with that one. And then we're going to increase it three times with the model. Just a way to think of this is the dual arrows on the outside. This one being minus. That's minus 10%, which is the system. The dual arrows on the right side is going to be plus 10%, which is like the model. And then the page up and down is like using the plus and minus in the middle. Last shortcut is how to adjust characters, numbers, or symbols on a line item. I'm going to push model and click on model name. If you use the lower page button, it's going to move the cursor to the left and the upper page button moves it to the right. That's the same as using the left and right arrows at the bottom of the digital keyboard. You will notice we've got lowercase letters. If you push system, Puts them to uppercase. You push it again, it's going to give you numbers and symbols. You push it again, you get a digital keypad. Push it one more time, and you're back to lowercase letters, just like we were at the first of the cycle. You can also push the model button if you want to delete whatever is to the left of the cursor. I'm going to hold it down, it'll delete the 1, hold it down again, and delete the 0. And it's the same way if you move the cursor over and hit the model, it does whatever is to the left of the cursor. Now we've covered the top shortcuts. If you learned something new today or found this video informative, go ahead and push like on the video. To see future TX16S tutorials, subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the next one.